Successive discounts of 10%, 12%, and 15% amount to a single discount off. Well, let us first write what does a discount mean. Well, when you have a discount of some percent, let's say D percent, then you always calculate the discount on the selling price. So discounted price is equal to the selling price reduced by the percentage of that discount. So selling price minus D percent of the selling price, right? So minus D percent of selling price. And this is basically 100 minus D percentage of selling price. So with this, let us solve this question. We have successive discounts of 10%, 12%, and 15%. Let us assume that the selling price is equal to 100 rupees, right? Then we first have a discount of 10%, which means that the discounted price will be 100 minus D percent of the selling price. So 100 minus 10% of the selling price, which is 100. So I can basically write this as 90% of selling price. So 90% of 100. Now this discounted price is again discounted to 12%, right? So again, you are applying a discount of 12% on this discounted price. So 100 minus 12 is equal to 88. So 88% of this amount. Now again, on this amount, you are applying a discount of 15%. So you can again write 100 minus 15% of this amount. So 100 minus 15 is 85% of this amount. So this is actually I can write this as 85 upon 100 times 88 upon 100 times 90 upon 100 times again this 100. So this 100 gets cancelled out, this 0 and this 0 get cancelled out. And when you solve this, you will get 67.32. So the discounted price is equal to 67.32. Now that's not what is asked. We have been asked what is the discount. So discount is equal to the selling price minus the discounted price. So the selling price is 100 here minus the discounted price is 67.32. So this is equal to 32.68. So I took the base as 100 that is the selling price is 100. So I can say that this is 32.68%. So the answer is option A. The price of an article is raised by 30% and then two successive discounts of 10% each are allowed. Ultimately, the price of the article is. Well, let us assume that the price or the selling price of this article be 100 rupees. Now, this selling price is raised by 30%. So, the new selling price, let's say SP1, is equal to 30% increase in the old selling price which is 100. So 100 plus 30 percent of 100 is 100 plus 30 and that is 130. Now two successive discounts of 10 percent each are allowed on this selling price, new selling price. So the first 10 percent discount is equals to let's say SP2 is equals to 130 minus 10 percent of 130. So minus 13. So this is equal to 170. Now on this 117, again a 10% discount is allowed. So the next selling price is equal to 117 minus 10% of 117 and that is 11.7. .7. So this is equals to 105.3. So the original price was 100 and the new price is 105.3. So there is an increase in 5.3 rupees. So basically I took this as 100, so I can say that there is an increase in 5.3%. So the answer is option C. By selling an article at two-fifths of the marked price, there is a loss of 25%. The ratio of the marked price and the cost price of the article is. Firstly, let me tell you that marked price is the selling price, right? Now it is said that by selling an article at two-fifths of the selling price, there is a loss of 25%, which means that if I sell the 
article at two fifth of the selling price, it is equal to that the cost price is reduced by 25%. So cost price minus 25% of the cost price. Now assuming that this cost price is equal to 100 rupees, this selling price can be calculated out. So 2 by 5 of the selling price is equal to 100 minus 25 upon 100 times 100. So what I have is 2 by 5 SP is equal to 75. Therefore, selling price is equal to 75 times 5 by 2. Let us keep it as it is. Now, what is asked is the ratio of the mark price, that is the selling price and the cost price. So, selling price upon the cost price is equal to 75 times 5 by 2 divided by the cost price, which we assume to be 100. So, divided by 100. So, this is equal to 75 times 5 by 2 times 100. Now 25 times 3 is 75 and 25 times 4 is 100. 15 by 8. So 15 is to 8 is the correct answer. A shopkeeper fixes the marked price of an item 35% above its cost price. The percentage of discount allowed to gain 8% is First of all, let us assume that the cost price is 100 rupees. Now this shopkeeper fixes the marked price, that is the selling price of this item, 35% above its cost price. So this cost price is increased by 35% to give the selling price. So selling price is equal to 100 plus 35 is 135. Now this shopkeeper wants a gain of 8%. So this is the cost price and let us say that the new selling price after a gain of 8% is e equal to SP1. Now we are gaining 8% on the cost price. So the new selling price will be 100 plus 8 that is 108 will be the new selling price. But this is basically the discounted price isn't it? This selling price should be there after you give a discount on this price some percentage of discount. So let me Again, review this. You have the cost price. You increase that cost price to 35%. So we have the new selling price. And on this new selling price, that is the mark price, you give some discount so that you get a gain of 8%. So we want this discount percent. So discount percent is equal to the discount which is calculated on the selling price. So discount upon the selling price times 100. Discount is selling price minus the discounted price. So selling price minus discounted price upon the selling price times 100. So this can be written as selling price is 135 minus 108 which is the discounted price divided by 135 times 100. So this is 135 minus 108 is 27 by 135 times 100. So 9 times 3 is 27 and 9 times 15 is 135 and 3 times 5 is 15. So this is equal to 100 by 5 and that is 20%. So the correct answer is option A.